Are you like me and you've got a broken towel rod holder, <laughs> towel rack? A lot of times you'll have um, the little hex that comes loose in the bottom. But in this case, um, you can see the mount here in the, in the wall um, has come out completely. So there's two screws that hold this one in uh, into these little plastic uh, sheetrock screw holders. And so what I'm gonna do is repair the hole by putting new sheetrock mud, letting it harden, uh, and then I'm gonna re-drill the holes and put new screw plastic holders in there. Hey buddy. So what I've got is two things here, is some plaster, some sheetrock mud, six inch uh, sheetrock, knife oops careful when you open this thing all right it says ready to use but i've had to give it a good mixing there's a little uh, water separated on top so again all i'm going to do is fix the uh, pat fill the hole to patch it being very careful not to try and go outside of the ring on the wall um so i don't have to repaint um and have a white spot there so Right. Um, now what I've got is filled in. I'm gonna clean off my knife and just give it one scrape here so it's a little bit smooth. It doesn't have to be nice and neat in there, but I want it to be a little bit smoother. And then I'm gonna wipe anywhere outside the circle so it's not white and it looks like it's good as new. All right, so I've uh, cleaned off my sheetrock knife here and I'm just gonna give it one swipe. The hole is more towards the bottom, so I'm just gonna wipe up, try to get that nice and smooth. Got some on the wall, but with my handy paper towel, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. You know, again, um, I'm trying to stay inside of where this is gonna be covered up. Now, if you don't have a ring like I do, I've got kind of a ring where the thing was resting, you might wanna just take a, a, a light pencil circle around the outside so you can kind of tell as a guide. That's it. You see anywhere outside of there, I've cleaned it up. And that'll be covered up. So we'll just let that harden. And once it's hardened, I'll be back. Okay, um, we're back after two days. Um, it was hardened after one day. Instructions to say to wait 24 hours, but it was extra thick here. So I waited an extra day just to be safe. And um, all I have to do now is take these plastic bits off and realign and redrill the holes. I'm probably gonna use some new ones because these are a pain if they get bent, but I'll use my pole. And as a guide, I'll use these uh, two screws to make an indention where I need to redrill the holes, uh, disassemble and reassemble. <laughs> All right, drill the holes, inserted the new screw holders. So I'm gonna reinstall this now, making note where the, the screw held on is actually gonna be in the bottom to match, you know, the other one where, you know, the, the hex screws in the bottom. All right, so that's screwed in and screw it all the way down flush with the wall, not too hard to where you, um, you know, screw out the, the sheetrock patch you put in, but nice and flush uh, so it'll fit nice and snugly once you've assembled the towel rack. All right, so there you have it. It is good as new. All right, and this is what it should look like after uh, just about good as new. Um, matching the other one, good and sturdy. So I hope this helped. If it has, you know what to do. Are you like me and you have a broken shower curtain? Well, if so, I'm gonna show you how to get it fixed the right way quickly and easily. It's a 24 hours on this sheetrock mud here, but uh, I give it an extra day just to make sure 
because it was uh, kind of a thick amount. So uh, it's been two days. Hold on, buddy. I'll be right with you. And I. Uh, Also, the shadow, shadow, I don't like the shadow. Yeah, it's fine. I'm dead. All right, I'll stand here. 